Well guys, here we are again with our new camper trailer. This is new for 2021. I'm calling this one the Long Range. Now you've heard that one before. Um, this one here is the Long Range V2. And the difference between the V2 and the V1 is this has side access doors. The other one accesses from the rear of the trailer. If you have a look at some of our other videos, you'll see that. And um, they basically they're the same trailer, but just a few little different things on them. Have a look up the front here. And up the front here, we've got a 3.5 ton hitch, um, which is well and truly adequate for a trailer of this size, given that the trailer only weighs about 850 kilos. The suspension on it um, will carry 1350. So it's got a fair payload you can put in it. Underneath this trailer is 120 litres of water. Uh, we can fit a third water tank in this. And um, we do have an AGM battery in this, a 120 amp AGM. And uh, we can change that to a lithium if you want. Um, that's up to you and your budget. But to keep the budget down a bit, we do put an AGM in there. So we'll have a bit of a look around the trailer and see what we've got. Up front we've got the alloy spare, a full alloy, and a full size tyre to match the ones that the trailer's running on. Have a quick look in the fridge slide. Now in here we've got our fridge, that's a 40 litre fridge. It will take a 50. So if you've got a 50 litre, it will take a 50 litre. Pull that out. And we've also got a lock on the rear. Some people said, how do you lock it in? I've got a little lock there. There you go. Now it stops the fridge moving backwards and forwards. We can fully insulate these boxes so that the fridge has more insulation. We do have airflow um, to help with the cooling of the fridge while you're driving. There's a vent there and we can sort of see a vent in the back there on the left hand side. Um, that's hidden in behind this wheel. Now we can also stick a fan on that to help punch the air through the, um, the box where the fridge sits. Uh, that will help uh, the fridge run obviously cooler and use less power. Uh, little fans don't take much power. Uh, I think this is unlocked. There you go. Um, no gear in here today, all the gear is back at the campsite. We've left the campsite and decided to go for a drive with it, the trailer, and see how it goes. Um, excuse me to take a video. No, quick look inside. And it's Australia Day weekend, so for those Aussies who love Australia, there's a flag for you. Storage up the back, two doors fall down, and um, put your gear up in there, ceiling fan, smoke detector, vents, windows that open and close with screens and we've got plenty of storage up the front with USB and 12 volt hooks for hanging your keys on and whatever else you need to, drink bottle holders fully insulated ceiling in this trailer so we'll go and have a look around the rest of the trailer uh, we do have a water hand water pump on this one um, again this is something which you can choose to have or choose not to have. Um, it does make you a little bit more responsible with water when you're camping in remote areas because you've got a hand pump instead of flicking a switch. Now, there's a water tank. Our hose set up. And uh, drop down legs, two stabilizer legs on the rear. Now the axle underneath this trailer is a big 50 by 50 axle solid steel, not hollow, solid steel, 50 by 50, and we're running uh, 10 inch electric off-road brakes. So big enough for this trailer for sure, and they're off-road, so definitely makes a better setup for when you're out there giving it a bit of what for. Now, come back around this side, and we're gonna have a look in this box here lock as well there you go again a bit of ventilation there help with a bit of airflow in this side put your toilet in here we've got a little barbecue play a few gas bottles um, now that is blocked off between the fridge 
and the toilet for obvious reasons they don't get any smell through to your toilet from your toilet to your fridge sorry um, and a bit more hygienic uh, so it's totally sealed from the fridge area now head down to excuse me the fly annoying me Right, got that open, the fly's bugging me. Uh, right, we've got our projector charger in here, we've got our on off switch for the power, uh, all the fuses for everything, everything's got fuses on it, positive and negative. Uh, just a little tray of bits and pieces in there we use when we're camping. Like I said, 140AGM. Up top we've got the uh, light and the smoke detector. Uh, smoke detectors just in case there's any issues in there uh, at least you can be brought to your attention if there is view from the other side of the trailer um, and we'll come around here again back out here we'll just close that door you can leave that one open um, the wheel guards now they're a big heavy duty three mil checker plate powder coated a lot of people don't powder coat them, they just leave them raw aluminium and a lot of people don't use the 3 mil. they use a 2 mil or a 1.5, you can't stand on them, if you do, um, you probably bend them, but these made big enough, strong enough so they don't. Uh, little storage compartment down here, have a look at that. Now like I said before, that does go quite deep, as you can see there's, um, what we've got in there, a big machete, uh, an axe, a few other bits and pieces in there um, and it's carpeted so that things don't rattle around in there now I'll come to the kitchen I'll just pull this clip out move around this side now setup time on this trailer is virtually non-existent you know you can pull up in this trailer like we are today and open the back door, get in here and get your food um, and you've got shelter from the sun and it's quite sunny at the moment uh, as you can see, pan, pan around here and have a look at the um, cane paddock over there and um, well, I think it's cane anyway, I'm not too sure uh, we are in Queensland so I'm presuming that now, um, drawers pull out for a bit of extra table space um, and we've got all our knives and forks cups goes in nicely locks in so it won't come out and we've got in here a few bits and pieces in there same in there the storage up top now the back door I'm standing underneath at the moment is fully insulated as well so the ceiling of the trailer is fully insulated, back door is fully insulated, and um, yeah, that helps keep any food in there just a little cooler. Because if you've got the sun beating on that back door and it's just not an insulated door, that does heat up quite a lot in there. So we insulate all our back doors. Um, there's the other side to that storage compartment you saw on the other side, and um, up top. We have our roof racks. Now we can put a, a rooftop tent up there if you want to. We can put a, a storage rack up here if you want to and you want more storage. We can put up uh, a storage rack. Uh, and of course we've got our storage rack right there. We can put a couple of bags of firewood, strap them down. And uh, you know, if you've got a station wagon and the kids are in the back and everything's in the back, you do need a bit of extra space. In fact, inside this trailer, we do put a gazebo. There's um, those fold up beds we put in. We put a couple of extra swags in there. We put our chairs inside the trailer. Um, take a bit of load out of the car. Like I said, the trailer is a 1350 kilo leaf spring. And um, you know, it handles it very well. All right, guys, that's us, Margin Campers. I hope you like the trailer. Um, let us know your comments. Thanks, guys.